So now we are doing single and three phase continuous power supply training panel. These are different meter modules. We will give an introduction one by one. This is the main power supply module. From here we are taking the main power supply connections to all the meters. This is the meter module for DC power supply. Here we can see DC voltage and AC. DC sorry, DC current. This is the AC meter module. This is the multifunction meter module. This meter provides gives us many functions from voltage, current, power factor for three phase power supply. This is the DC drive module. Okay. AC drive. This is the AC drive module for three phase. The input is single phase and the output is in three phase. So now we will do the connections for AC drive module and we will see the experiment of the connection. This is the input power supply for AC drive module. Single phase input power supply has been connected to the AC drive module. Now we connect the ammeter in series output AC ammeter. AC ammeter to check the current of AC drive. Output, now we are connecting the output output to the multifunction meter which is in three phase so that we can check the parameters of each phase here we can check the voltage current and power factor for each phase now we are giving power supply to the multifunction parameter meter from the main supply board. And also power supply to AC. Now we are also giving the power supply to AC voltmeters. Now we connected the output to the load. Now we are connecting the output to the load. We have already installed the load bulbs over here. Now we are connecting the wires to the panel. We are switching off the panel. The, it should be zero. The we should we yeah we have to keep this in mind and this is very important that they should be in zero position before switching on the module because it can break down the power supply. Uh, AC drive. See, we have increased. Now, gradually, we are seeing the bulbs glowing slowly and slowly. We also have to press run button up before uh, rotating. Before rotating the module, we have to press the run button. Only then it will enter the functions. So now we can see the output is being varied by the AC drive. We 
you can see the power factor over here for all the three faces one by one we can also connect motor on this output here we are using bulbs bulb load but we can also use a motor induction motor in the output now we will uh, take out the connections and we will operate the dc drive module now we are making the video for dc drive module first we need to switch off the power supply from the power supply module before connection before connection and now we will start connecting <laughs> We will, we will be using the load in a fixed load lamp panel. We need to switch off the switch before operating and it should be minimized. The variable control should be in zero position. Rotating anti-clockwise. These are uh, the connections for DC meters to check the output power supply. Input power supply first of all. Now this is the output power supply for DC M meter. Which is going in series with the lamp load. And this is the connection for voltage which is going in parallel with the lamp load. Now we'll switch it on. Now we will slowly start rotating the DC drive. You can see the voltage here. It will start increasing slowly, slowly. The lamps are lit now. One more thing we have to keep in mind that this is the variable output from the DC drive and this is this is the a fixed output. And the meter is connected to the fixed output internally. Whenever we operate the fixed output, we can see the current ratings over here. Now we will show you the current of the fixed supply. 0 0.5 ampere. You can also check it on the outside meter. So this was our DC drive module for the continuous single and three phase continuous power supply. Trainer. Thank you.